Today I'm going to show you how to make cured egg yolks. They're super simple, depending on how cured you'd like them, it can take up to two weeks. Uh, in the end, you'll get these little hard yolks. They're really versatile, they can be grated onto toast, soup, veggies, steak, whatever. Um, they taste like parmesan cheese, so good alternative if you're lactose intolerant. Yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, you need to have some salt. Um, any salt will do. Kosher is probably best. Um, I don't know how salt with anti-caking agents will go in this. You can give it a go. I don't know. Um, but you can source pink Himalayan salt or Murray River salt if you're looking for something a bit more sustainable and you're in Australia. Uh, this is just plain salt. So, um, oh, and also get a... A low dish, something that can be covered, um, preferably something with a lid so you don't have to use cling film. Um, if you've got these wax wraps, that's fine to use, whatever. So um, put about a centimeter of salt in the bottom of the dish. And evenly distribute it. Grab a dessert spoon and make little indentations. They can be quite close to each other. As long as the egg yolks aren't actually touching, it's fine. So just do the whole dish. You notice areas that need a little bit more salt, just fill it in. I'm assuming everyone knows how to separate an egg yolk from its whites. Um, I'll show you how I'll do it. Using the shell I find is the most easiest way. Try get as much of the white off as possible. And just pop it into the indentation. Oh, fuck the yolk. Yolk broke. Yolk broke. Yolk broke. What do you do when the yolk broke? Uh, I don't know because I've never done that before. It's only happening because I'm filming it. But I'd assume that it could still be fine. I'll cover it with salt as normal and it'll cure and it'll still, it'll just be a misshapen little yolk. It's edible. Don't be weird. <laughs> so I found with that egg yolk that I broke, it was running into the other divots. Um, it was actually pretty easy to reshape, just taking the teaspoon um, and pushing it back into a circle. It'll be fine. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, so just continue on separating the yolks from the whites. I keep my whites to feed back to the chickens. Um, I cook them up with some turmeric, uh, garlic, some greens, uh, whatever's good for them. Got some meat, great protein. They're molting at this time of year, so they really need the extra boost. Um, so just continue this on until you've um, got a whole tray full and I'll show you what to do. Hmm. So we're coming to the end. I just wanted to mention a couple of things about what we do with shells and what you can do. Um, one thing that I like to do is just chuck them into a pan, put them at the bottom of the oven. And when I do cooking, 
Um, I, well, I basically forget about them until I remember them. <laughs> and by the time I do, they're very brittle. So I like to um, basically grind them up and feed them back to the chickens. I offer them back in a bowl. Fuck. Oh, well, that'll be fine. Um, I offer them back in a bowl and the chickens eat them at will and it's a good little calcium boost for them. Um, also really good if you've got a garden to break them up, keep them kind of sharp, put them around the bottom of seedlings and things like slugs, snails, won't like to pull their bodies across them and eat your little seedlings. Uh, I think the sharp edges hurt. <laughs> so that's a good way to protect your seedlings without using pesticides um, or nets or whatever. Um, egg yolks, you can probably, uh, pro sorry, the egg whites, you can probably make things like sorbet, pavlova. Not really my thing, but totally doable. I don't know what's going on with this, so we'll just have to wait and see. Um, I'm sure it will be fine. People have written in and said that their whole their whole batch looks like that more than like that. Look, it's fine. Just experiment. Yeah. At this stage. Uh, they're going to be covered gently with salt. Really take your time. You don't want to put it on too much at once or you will bust the yolks. So just be patient. Cover this up. We'll just forget about that. This salt can actually be reused. When you dig them out, whether you do it in a couple of days to eat them as kind of like a jam, or you leave them for the, the week. There will be a liquid amongst the salt. It will actually be quite wet. I put them in the oven, put just the salt in the oven and stirred it every you know 10 minutes or so. And eventually all the liquid evaporated from the, the salt and it was fine to use again. It's salt, so nothing's going to be living in there that can make you sick. This is how we survived for many, many years. Pre-fridges. So at this point, I'm comfortable with that being, you know, pretty much covered. Um, some people, you know, fill the whole container, but I haven't found that necessary. Some people like to use 50-50 uh, salt and sugar mix. That's fine, if that's your thing, give it a go. Um, I prefer savory, and I think it's a little bit more versatile with the eggs. Um, some people also add spices to the salt mix. Give that a go too. I haven't heard it change as much, but give it a go. Do you, boo. Do you. Um, so at this stage, put a lid on, um, put it in a fridge or a place that is nice and cold. Leave it for a week. Uh, you can also dig it out within two hours and you'll have like a poached egg. Uh, 24 hours and you'll have like a jam based, jam like egg. It's very yummy, um, quite salty. Uh, or leave it for a week and then gently dig them out of the salt. Uh, they'll look like this but a little bit more supple. These have been cured. Um, pop them in either if you have a drying rack like this. Put it somewhere that's dark out of direct light and below 20 degrees Celsius. Leave that for another week or longer. 
Um, or alternatively, if you don't have a drying rack or you're in a warmer place, cheesecloth, make a little bag out of cheesecloth or if you have one of these produce bags, just pop them in. Um, try separate them. You can either tie knots between them, particularly if you're using like a cheesecloth or you can just peg a little, little peg between them and hang it up in your fridge so it's nice and airy. Um, now I'll show you what they look like when they're grated. They're pretty amazing. So these have been cured for probably close to two weeks. Oof. That is so good on buttery toast. You have no idea until you do it. You wouldn't believe. It's addictive. Mm. Give it a go. Couple of things I forgot to mention. When you first dig them out after they've been sitting in the salt for a week, you can wash them off if you prefer a less salty tasting egg. Or you can just take a damp cloth damp paper towel, um, brush off the excess salt. That's what I prefer to do, um, but whatever takes your fancy. Also, other people take a shortcut and instead of hanging them to dry for the week, they'll put them in the oven for a couple of hours on low or they'll put them into a dehydrator. You're welcome to do this, but you've already taken the week of curing. Why not take the other week and just get a better product? It is actually probiotic, and when you put them under the heat, it kills the bacteria that's actually beneficial to your gut. So spend the extra time, I think it's worth it. And enjoy, I hope you enjoyed this and it was beneficial for you.